What's up guys, it's the Bleeding Guy, and welcome to yet another Dragon Ball Xenoverse customization. This one was fan requested by this person, I'll put their name right here, somewhere. And they wanted me to make Kratos from God of War. So right off the bat, Kratos is like 6 foot whatever, and he's bulky and buff. And he's bald. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple stuff. His eyes, I had to kind of, you know, what would be the perfect eyes for Kratos? And it's something that's like a pissed off look, but at the same time it's it's not too anime-ish because Kratos is human after all. His pupils, uh, we'll get to that. There's a, there's a thing with his pupils and his eye color that kind of crossed me up, but uh, it wasn't so bad anyway. His nose is kind of, uh, promiscuous? Not promiscuous. It's, it's big, but it's like defined, refined. And obviously he has a goatee. Uh, his ears can be like that. And now we're going to go for the... <laughs> You know, skin tone first, skin tone first. He's covered in the, you know, the ashes of his dead family, so we gotta give respect for that. His hair color, regardless if he only has his goatee, is, I'd put it dark black. His eye color. Now, there was a lot of controversy behind his eye color. It was either going to be, like, auburn, kind of, hazelish, or it was gonna be, like, black. So, with most of the research I've done, they said hazel was his proper eye color, so I went with that. We're not gonna worry about the clothing colors. And we're going to give him the gruffest voice in existence, which is number six. And we are just going to name him, you know, I was going to name him something stupid, but I don't know. I respect Kratos a little bit too much. Uh, yeah, just Kratos. Cool. And he is mixed of both because you can get in people's faces, but on the other hand, you can spam magic all day. And we're gonna get to the the final results. Wow, look at that. Angry. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's a very, very close similarity. Alright, first of all, his equipment. Nothing on top. I mean, you could give him Broly's uh, chest thing if you wish, but honestly, it wouldn't really do much on design-wise. Broly's clothes. Yes, you have to farm that one quest that everyone does for XP. It it does take time, but eventually Broly's, you know, pants will drop, and that's the closest thing I could get to looking something like Kratos. Uh, for the hands, it's the Training Temple Gi, which, uh, to be honest, I had to kind of mix around with the colors here, because, you know, he usually has like a pauldron kind of thing, like the reflector thing, but Dragon Ball Z doesn't have that, so I had to make do with what I had. The sandals are the... the, uh four-star Dragon Ball thing, and it, these are his colors, three ones. It's brown, and then, you know, it's right near the black thing over there, and it's this rust red, which is right above brown. You can't miss it, and I thought that looked good, and we have brown again, and we have silver, so yeah, this is a kind of silver-ish thing for his skin color to match, just for the sandals sake, but you can make the sandals rust brown if you want, I mean, rust red, sorry, not brown. Alright, for his skills, this is uh, gonna be a little, it's a little mixed, I had to think about, I had to take from a lot of the different games. Uh, Turtle Style Last Resort for the Paralysis, kind of the, the, the Wrath of Poseidon thing that he does, Burning Slash because he has to have Blades of Chaos somewhere, Gravity Impact because it's so good, Rage Mode, Kaioken. Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack, apparently that is the best God of War technique in a few of them. Super Electric Strike for another thing, and Spirit Slash for the, uh, you know, that little twirly spin he does. Alright, that was great. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. I really enjoyed making Kratos, and uh, enjoy the montage.